Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. This should be a massively big treat. Uh, Matthew, uh, guy up in Canada, uh, maybe known as Matt, uh, I call him Matthew, that's what was on the box. Uh, he lives up in Canada and uh, he sent me these two beers and wanted to know if I would uh, uh, review them side by side. Uh, one is Dew de Sal Peche Mortel, and the other one is Dew de Sal Peche Mortel Bourbon Barrel. And what these two beers are, one is bourbon barreled, and the other one is not. This is a uh, Stout Imperial Au Café, Imperial Coffee Stout, extra strong stout brewed with coffee, 9.5%. And this is the uh, bourbon version. Stout Extra Forte Brasse Avec Du Café. I'm probably butchering, I'm not French, so I'm probably butchering that all to hell. Uh, extra Strong Stout Brewed with Coffee, 9.5%. So, a lot of times the bourbon barrel versions are a little bit more because they soak up some of that bourbon from the barrels and, and it, it kicks up the ABV a little bit. But these two are the same ABV. This is the bourbon barrel version. This is the regular version. This was... Uh, Bottled on 1124 2015, and this one was done on 1123 of 2015. So they're the same beers, and, and a lot of times I don't understand how they can bottle at the same time of if one's been in a bourbon barrel. So I, I don't. They must have brewed this the bourbon one first and put it in the barrels. I don't know how long it was in the barrels. Hopefully more than a day, and then they bottled both of these. Uh, so the same beer, one's standard version and one's bourbon barrel version. Same ABV, same beer, one bourbon barrel version, one regular version. So, I don't do a lot of verticals, but they asked me if I would do these side by side, and I said yes. So, that's what we're going to do. I've got two bottles, I've got two glasses. Let's see what we end up with here, guys. Uh, I don't have the IBUs on this beer. They're both 9.5%. And I'm not going to read the commercial description. I know this is going to be a longer video, guys. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat because I'm reviewing two beers at the same time. So, uh, food pairings for this beer. Uh, and it's going to be the same for both of them, whether it's bourbon barrel or, or regular version. Uh, cheeses are buttery breed good of Havarti Swiss. And since it's a style, it goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course. Meats, beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Flash bread and bite, pint, Becker, Nautic. Tumbler, Schnepter, oversized wine glass. I got the double glass and the sovereign beer glass today for these two. It can be set up for a long period, and I'm sure it can. But we're not going to. Uh, he sent these to him. He lives in Canada, and he and he put these, he bought these and put them in a box, and he come across into the United States, uh, into New York, and sent them to me. Since a lot of times uh, coming across the border, they want to open up the package and do all kind of crazy shit. That's how it is. So it's easier for him just to come across the border and, and send them to me from New York than it is to send them to me from Canada and going through customs and all that horse shit. So, Matthew, thanks again, my brother, for, for doing this for me. I do appreciate it. I have had some of the uh, due-to-sale beers before, and they have been freaking awesome. These guys make some awesome beers. They really, really do. You guys in Canada that can get these beers, Unibrow, Unibrew, however it's called, and do to sell. They're uh, 
quite a few others that make some awesome beers up there. They really, really do. So, let's get on with this, guys. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. So, without further ado, we'll start off with the regular version and get it into the glass. And I got a feeling that the only difference between these two beers are both probably going to be very good beers to a soft cap to these bottles are uses for the home brewers. It is once been in a bourbon barrel, which is going to kick it up a notch or two or three with the bourbon and vanilla and maybe some woody oak notes and coconut maybe. And I'm not going to have a place to put the beers and the glass, so once I get them into the glass, we're going to slide the bottles in behind them. Try to pour them pretty comparatively, so uh, I'm not pouring one more aggressive than the other. But this is a lot bigger glass. Set these back up there for y'all to see. Bourbon, standard. Alright. I'm going to sit. I hope I can slide this over and get enough room for both bottles so y'all can see the bottles and the glasses at the same time. Bourbon, standard. To me, and of course I poured this in first, the head is dissipating on the regular version quicker than the bourbon barrel version. Good looking beers. Uh, no light coming through it. Pitch black. Same for both beers. Pitch black. Now like I said, as you can see, the head has completely dissipated on the standard version already, just a barely covering the top of the beer where we still have about a half inch of head on the bourbon barrel version. I tried to pour them the same, but they're not the same glasses. That may have an effect on, on what we're seeing as far as the head. Right off the bat, we're going to start off with the standard. Big, 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 big coffee notes. And it's brewed with coffee, so. Coffee, roasted malt. Slight hints of some chocolate and some dark fruit, but the coffee is just off the chain. Coffee is standing out and the roasted malt is standing out more than anything else on this. Wow, almost smells like espresso. It's, it's big coffee notes. Wow, big, big coffee notes. All right, now the head is dissipated down on this one. This is barely covering the beer now. Getting the bourbon right off the bat. It is overpowering the coffee notes. I am getting some coffee in there, but the bourbon is definitely there. Rich roasted malt, but the bourbon is outstanding here. I mean, it is. Wow. Wonderful bourbon notes on this beer. Super coffee notes on this beer. The bourbon is definitely stronger. And this one, of course, this is, it's not been aged in bourbon barrels, so the coffee is just outstanding, or off the chain, as I say, uh, where the, it's, the coffee is more subdued on this, and the bourbon is, is, is standing out more. So, we'll start off with the standard. Coffee is just, uh, it's just, wow. Wow, that is, that is so impressive on the coffee. Maybe it's both 9.5 percenters, guys. I'm actually surprised that the bourbon barrel version is not just a little bit bigger, uh, absorbing the bourbon from the barrels. Coffee, rich roasted malt, slight hints of some, I'm not going to say chocolate, but I think there's more tobacco influences than chocolate. If it is chocolate, it's very bittersweet. A slight hints of some dark fruit in there. 
coffee is off the chain on this one, guys. It really, really is. Coffee is off the chain. Bourbon. Definitely getting those influences. I don't know how long it was left in the uh, in the bourbon barrels. These were bottled a day apart from each other. Sweet bourbon on this. Coffee is more subdued. Just like the nose. Coffee's there, but it's not off the chain like it is on this one. To me, it seems like the bourbon is bringing out more hints of the chocolate than this one is. Bourbon, coffee, and chocolate is outstanding on this one, where the chocolate is a little less subdued on the regular coffee version. The coffee is just overpowering the chocolate taste. If you're a coffee freak, coffee fanatic, got to have 10 cups of coffee a day, got a cup of coffee in your hands all the time, you would probably like this more. If you're a bourbon barrel age freak, like I am, don't drink, don't drink bourbon straight up anymore. Only bourbon I get is from bourbon barrel age beers. You would probably like this one more. The coffee is there, but it's a little more subdued. It's almost a 50-50 between the coffee and the bourbon. Maybe a little less, maybe even a 60-40 bourbon being up. Just, just a tad more than the coffee. Can very much tell this is the same beer, but one's been in a bourbon barrel and one has not. The coffee is just outstanding on this, where the bourbon is coming in and influencing the taste of this. Either 50-50 or 60-40. I mean, it's, I'm getting... The bourbon is just there. I mean, it's just hard to hide that. Well, both great, delicious beers. But I, I love any kind of beer. Uh, stouts, porters, barley wines. I even doing IPAs now, or double IPAs and bourbon barrels. And that kicks it up a notch or two or three. But it depends on what you're after. If you can't stand the taste of bourbon, you're going to love this. You're going to really love this. If you do love the taste of bourbon, you're probably still going to love this, especially if you like coffee. But this one kicks it, kicks it up a notch to me. Excellent. Both excellent beers. Both right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. So let me take these back and let her have a taste, two or three. Maybe even fire up a cigar and sip on them for a little while since I have two of them to drink. And of course she's going to help me. And uh, see what these end up after about 35, 40 minutes or so. And... Uh, uh, but like I said, I'm a sucker for these bourbon barrel aged beers. I just love that taste. But if I didn't, or if you don't love the bourbon, or, or don't like bourbon, you might like this one a little bit better. They're both the same ABV. So, well, let's, uh, let's step on it for a little while and see where they end up. I'll be back in a little bit, and, and we'll give you the final chug and grade. Hi right, guys, I'm back. I've been sitting on this about 45 minutes or so. My other half loved it. I knew she would. Uh, big coffee notes on the regular version of this. I mean, the coffee is just off the chain, guys. It, it is espresso times 12. Uh, the bourbon barrel version, coffee is a little more subdued. The bourbon barrel, 50 50, 60 40. Uh, the coffee is definitely a little less impressive on the bourbon barrel version, but the bourbon is there. I kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, both same ABV beers. Uh, very nice. Very well done. Uh, pretty equal to me. Uh, if you don't like the bourbon barrel version or don't like bourbon, uh, the coffee version is going to, especially if you like coffee, it's going to blow you away. Coffee is just pow, pow. It is really up there. It's like an espresso version. 
It really, really is. And the bourbon barrel version, the coffee is a little more subdued. The bourbon is up there. It's still there, but it's the bourbon. The bourbon is knocked that down considerably. The bourbon is taking the front seat on this one. So I would, I would, I would say it's, it's more like 60-40 on the bourbon barrel version as as, ver as opposed, you know, with the with the, the bourbon and the coffee. The coffee is way, uh, I don't say way down there, but it is a lot more subdued than the straight coffee version of this, as opposed to the bourbon barrel version of this. They're both excellent beers. They are excellent beers. And these guys are out of uh, St. Jerome, Quebec, Canada. So, uh, excellent beers. Both of them are. Uh, if you don't like bourbon, this is the one you're going to love. If you do like that bourbon aspect to it, you're probably going to love this. The coffee is still there, but the bourbon is in, in the front seat, no doubt about it. Great beers. Awesome beers. Final chug on the standard. Coffee, roasted malt, dark fruit, hints of bittersweet chocolate. Excellent, excellent beer, excellent beer. And the regular, I mean the uh, bourbon barrel version. <sighs> Big bourbon notes. No burning or anything like that. Very well made. But the bourbon is... Definitely taking the front seat on this beer. Excellent, excellent, well done bourbon barrel age. I would say this is this this has been in a bourbon barrel for at least three months or longer. Very impressive to me that they bottled these one day apart. So to me, I would think they they'd done the bourbon barrel version first, or they may have done both at the same time and just bottled them one day apart. But the bourbon barrel version definitely has the bourbon notes going on. Well, I love both of them. They are both excellent beers. I don't think one detracts from the other, especially if you don't like a, the, the bourbon taste on this. Uh, the, uh, the bourbon kicks it up a notch for me. But if, like I said, if you don't like the bourbon aspect of it, the coffee version is just off the chain as far as coffee. Espresso coffee, even. Wow. Delicious beers, both of these beers. Uh, to me, guys, my rating is probably going to be pretty close to the same for both of these beers. Uh, I think both of them are excellent, excellently well-made beers. They're both the same beers. One's been in a bourbon barrel and one has not. Uh, but they're both, as far as I'm concerned, they're both 10 beers. If you like the bourbon, you'll love this one. If you don't like bourbon, you'll love this one. Uh, if you don't like either one of them, somebody needs to slap you upside the freaking head. They are both excellently well-made beers, no doubt. Uh, I don't think one's better than the other. It just depends on what you like. If you're a bourbon fan, you will love this one. If you're not a bourbon fan, you will love this one, if you, especially if you're a coffee fan. If you don't like coffee or bourbon, you probably won't like either one of them. Uh, very nice. Very nice. I think they're both 10 beers. I really, really do. Uh, my personal preference, I prefer this one because it's got the bourbon in it. But I don't, I don't want that to detract from the standard version because the coffee is off the chain on the regular version. It is very, very nice. So, 
I know this is going to be a long video, and I want to wrap this up. Uh, they're both Tim Beers guys. They really, really are. Uh, these guys up there at Depeche Mortel, uh, are, they're called Brasserie du Dussel, which is Brewery du Dussel. Uh, they're both great beers. Same beer. One's been in a bourbon barrel, one has not. Excellent beers. Uh, they're both tens to me, guys. They are both excellent, well-made craft beers. So, if you like the bourbon barrel version, I got a feeling this is going to be a little more pricier than the standard version. And usually the bourbon barrel ver versions are a little more expensive because it takes that time to put it in a bourbon barrel and it sets in a corner for three, six, or however long, how many months they decided to put it in bourbon barrels before they bottle it. But they're both excellent beers. Very nice beers. Uh, 100 and 100. I don't prefer one over the other other than getting a little bit of the bourbon notes in the bourbon barrel version, which I do love. But I don't think that detracts from the standard version, which has the coffee in it. Uh, this would be a great beer other than being a 9.5 percenter to have on a weekend for breakfast. Uh, very nice. Very big coffee notes on the standard version. Where the bourbon barrel version has like a 50-50 between the bourbon and the coffee. Maybe even a 60-40. The bourbon is just a little more present than the coffee on this. So, very nice. Very, very nice. And I don't do a lot of the verticals, but he asked me to do this on this one. And I know it's going to be a long video, and I apologize for that, but we're doing two beers at one time, and that's what, I'm, that's what I've got. So, with that being said, 100 and 100. If you like bourbon, you'll like this one. If you don't like bourbon, and you like coffee, you'll like this. If you don't like coffee, you may not like either one of them, or bourbon. But, uh, I love both of them. They're pretty nice. Du Brasserie Du De Sale makes some awesome beers, and these two are no exceptions. They are very, very nice. All right, guys, let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate. They say 97, which is in the world class. And over to Rate Beer, they say 100 overall and 99 in the style. 100 for me. Uh, we got 97, we got a 100, we got a 100 for me. A beers, A plus beers, as far as I'm concerned. Excellent beers, both of them. If you get a chance to pick up one or both or one or the other, or both, like I have right here that Matthew has sent me, uh, I think you're going to love both of them. Try one, then try the regular first, then try the bourbon barrel uh, after that. Or if you like me, do a vertical side by side and see what you think of them. I think they're both excellent beers. I think they're both outstanding beers, world-class beers. So with that being said, Matthew, thank you a bunch. I do appreciate it. My brother, uh, nice beers. Very excellently well-made beers. So with that being said, if you've had this one from uh, Brasserie, Du Du Sal, let me know what you think. Great beers. You can't go wrong with this. Especially if you're a stout fan, if you're a bourbon fan, if you're a coffee fan, you will love these beers. You really, really will. I did. Very nice. Great beers to finish up the evening with, which I'm doing. Final beers of the evening for me. So, if you had them, let me know what you think. And guys, come on back tomorrow. Let's see if we can get out of the fridge. Whew. These are great beers. They really are. If you get a chance to get your hands on these, you need to pick up one or both of these. You'll enjoy them. I'm sure you will. If you don't, send them to me. God damn, I love them. They're great. All right, guys, coming back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. See you then.